What's up guys, it's Sorogi Pro here. So there are actually times that you really need to use a computer but you do not know the password of this computer. So what I'm going to show you guys is how you can hack into this Windows computer system, reset the password, change the password, whatever you want to do, just as long as you can use the computer system because maybe it's emergency. Without using any third-party software or extra devices, you only need to master a few simple steps and do it like a pro. But maybe you just forgot your password, your mother forgot your password, your friend just reset the password. Word, okay so let's jump in guys to my computer and I'm going to show you how you can reset or hack into this Windows computer system let's go there so this is my computer guys let's try to put in a password and try to see if we can go in so the password is incorrect please try again uh, let's do this one again put in a password enter password is incorrect please try again now what we're going to do is we are going to trick this Windows 10 system so that it's going to bring up the Windows Startup Repair System. So we're going to shut this down. Power and then shut down. This is the computer we're going to use. And we need to force shut down this one at least twice or thrice so that the Windows Startup Repair page will show up. So let's do that one. Now let's go ahead and turn this computer on. While this is turning on, get ready to shut this down. You can see a circular motion here, meaning it's loading. Press the power button, press that one, hold it until it's going to shut down. Okay, so that's illegally shut down for the first time. Let's power it on again and wait for it to load. Wait for that circular motion again. That means it's going to load the Windows 10 operating system. Get ready with that power button again. We have the circular loading motion. Press and hold the power button until it's going to shut down. So it's shut down. Okay. So let's power it on for the third time. Let's wait. And here, there should be a new message. You can see preparing automatic repair. So that's the one thing we really need here so that we can initiate our hack. It would say diagnosing your PC. Let's just wait. This will be quick because I did a fast forward. And there you go, automatic repair. We go for the advanced options, then troubleshoot advanced options and then system image recovery now that we're here let's go ahead and cancel this option go for this and then press next now go for advanced now we are going to trick this computer again in installing a driver but we're not going to install a driver so click on this and then go for ok now we're inside this computer. The first thing we're going to look is for a file that's called utilman. Now that utilman file is inside a system32 folder. So you can see here, this is a system32 folder. But let's try to see if the utilman is here because there are a couple of system32 folders in this computer. So let's go ahead, scroll down, locate the utilman file if it is in this system32 folder but if not we need to locate that system32 folder on other drives so i can see here that we cannot find any utilman so let's go to pc go for the second drive open this one okay there's nothing here let's go to third drive open this one go inside windows and then here we can find here we go system 32 and then inside here we will locate that utilman file scroll down and then there you go we are going to change the name of this utilman into something different than utilman I'll just put in utilman A. 
that will read util mana because we need to rename another file into utilman. There you go. And then we need to refresh this one to see the changes. Let's locate that utilman file if it is indeed changed to utilman A. So we scroll down again, check that one. We really need to verify because we're playing with the system files of this computer. There you have it, utilman A or utilmana. The next thing we're going to find is the CMD file. We need to locate that CMD file and change the name of the CMD into utilman. That's the reason why we change utilman into utilman A. So here we have it, right click and then rename. That's it. We refresh this one again and then search for that utilman if it's indeed changed. There you have it. You have utilman A and utilman. That's good. Close, close, cancel, and then we can continue with Windows 10. This should work. Okay, it's going to restart. Load up again the operating system. Here we don't need to do anything else. We'll just wait for it to boot up. It's loading. There you go. Now here, you need to see this icon here, ease of access. You click this one and then the command prompt will come out. This is where the hacking begins. We need to check on all the users listed on this computer. So we're going to put in net user and press enter. Now we have administrator and a user. The user is the user that is currently being used right now. Let's check that one. There, user. That's the username. Now we are going to reset the password. We are going to type in net space user. That's the command. It so happened that this is the same with a username. So net space user, then the username, and then asterisk. Press enter. And then there you have it. You can type in the new password if you want to, but if you don't want to type a password, you just want to clear all the password here, then you can just press enter. So for the sake of this demo, I'll just press enter again so everything will be cleared out. So for the third time, press enter again to confirm and everything will be successful. Everything will be cleared out. We're going to close this one. So there's no password entered here. We're just going to click this arrow icon to log in. And then voila, there you go. We're able to log in. It worked without any password. So there you have it. We're just going to wait for this one and see what's going to happen. Let's wait. Let's wait. There you go. Voila. Now, if you have any questions, my friends, just drop a comment down below and let me know. After resetting or hacking into a Windows 10 password, make sure to go back there and change the utilman in CMD to its original name. Okay? Don't forget about that. Now, if it's your first time in my YouTube channel and you want videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, just go ahead and smash that like button down there and share this video to your friends. Until next time again to my next video, this is Torogi Pro. Bye-bye.